listening to JAWS, video 204 of the SBRC JAWS series, Lee Nagel, Statewide Vision Resource Center. Another important thing to remember when teaching JAWS is to listen to JAWS. Allow JAWS to speak everything. Don't speak while JAWS is speaking and don't shush JAWS while JAWS is speaking. Initially, it'll be hard to remember all of what JAWS is saying, so listen in stages. I'm going to demonstrate this using JAWS and the Start menu in Windows 7. I'll press the Windows key and we'll listen to what JAWS says. Menu, search box, edit, type text in this edit field or press up or down arrow to move through items. That was probably too much for a new user to remember and to process. So what you can do is you can press the control button to shush JAWS in the middle of what it's saying so that you can discuss what it meant. I'll press escape to get out of that menu. Escape, leaving menus, start button to open, press enter. And I'll press the Windows key again, but this time I'm going to use control just to shush it and uh, stop and listen to what it says. Menu, search box, edit. Okay, just the beginning of what it said was menu, search box, edit. So we know that we're in a menu, but we know that we're also inside the menu, there's a search box and that we can currently edit. That means you can type or press backspace or paste into that search box. I'll press escape and we'll listen again. Escape, leaving menus, start button to open, press enter. Escape, leaving menus, start button. Okay, they were the fir first three things that it said. Escape, so it told us what key we pressed. Leaving menus, so that we know we're not inside a menu anymore. And it orients us to where we are, start button. Remember that people with regular vision can glance at the screen and understand the environment and what's expected. JAWS users get all the information about the computer by listening. So resist the temptation to talk over the top of JAWS or to shush JAWS while JAWS is giving information.